to another week in my life vlog. I'm back home, I'm ready for the day. This is my summer uniform because I will be in and out of that pool all day long. I'm actually gonna go pick some carrots. I really need to basically get rid of almost everything in my garden now because it's July, it's too hot, it's time to start prepping for fall. So we're gonna go see how these carrots are turning out. They're looking like they're dying. Okay, it's not looking too hot. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's fine. It's truly, it's okay. If y'all are new here, be sure to subscribe. The vlogs are looking so good these days, ladies and gentlemen. We have so many great things coming. Get excited. Also, my episode with Gals on the Go just went up. And by the time y'all are watching this, my episode with Sophia Franklin is up on the Housecast Podcast YouTube channel. If y'all are not already subscribed, you need to be subscribed. You can watch it. Maybe 1% of our listenership watches it on YouTube, and I really want it to be more of like a YouTube show. In an ideal world, I would have a set. So anyways, subscribe to that channel. Go watch the episodes. They're really, really good. I'm gonna fall. Okay, goodbye. Actually, not goodbye. We gotta go get a basket from the garage. I went ahead and just threw all this there. Technically, yes, the cucumbers, they needed a trellis the whole time. Carrots are looking dead, okay? Not good. Greens, those have been gone. That stuff, it's all fine. Onions, still, guys, like they need to be falling over completely. I did just pick this one earlier because it was basically out. This very, very, it looks like a shallot, but it's a red onion. Um, so we'll let that sit. I literally just watered. This is how hot it is and it's already fully dry. I picked a lot of the flowers. That, no hope, but anyways, I don't even remember what that is. That looks better. Not ready. These like kind of look ready. I mean y'all, they are so small. Like, explain that to me. It's been months. Some of these are not ready, so we're just gonna give them a second. I'm pulling all that up, pulling most of this up. We'll get to that. Both the dogs only ever wanna be sitting out here and it's like 95 degrees. Here's what we got. You know, they're a little small, but uh, hey, it's progress. <laughs> Macy's arrived. We're actually hard at work. Oh, and we're matching. Well, but you oh, were, I was, okay. You I, actually lied to me. I know, I texted Kenji, I was like, what are you wearing? She's like, I'm in overalls. And I was in overalls, but basically there's like really large gaping because I got them a size big and you could just see my underwear everywhere. This here. Yeah, yeah, I didn't have like, the outfit was not outfitting, but. Well, it's we were okay. supposed to match, but Macy and I actually, we booked a deal together. Wait, guys, this is actually really exciting. It's huge. We are, by the way, we our are businesswomen. We're businesswomen. We're, STEM. we're more than happy to sell our friendship. And so this won't be the last. This is the first, but it won't be the last. If you're any brands like watching, just know that from now on, any deal that Kenzie gets, it's kind of <laughs> going to be like a joint thing. Yeah, like she wants in on it yeah, as well. Kenzie's really been like, Macy, I want to split all my money with you. And I'm yeah. like, oh my God, stop. No, Macy wants like a login to the bank account. Yeah. <laughs> and like, you know, it would just like, make more sense this way. This is just the start. Is this the start of a new vlog? Yeah. Oh my God, you're on a roll. I know. Wait. I know. I'm like kind of back in my YouTube era. I was Wait. just thinking about this. I want YouTube to like come back. Yeah. You know? Me too. I um, keep saying that I want to vlog, but here's the thing. This is why Kenzie's such a hard worker. I forget. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And that's why I haven't posted in a year. Okay, but um, <laughs> no, we're filming our Wait, iced coffee oh. recipe with Califia. So yes, I say it right? but also we're not vlogging because of that. We're actually vlogging because we wanted to transfer a conversation we're having in real life on here. Macy was listening to the Gals and Go episode of mine. Oh no, all I was gonna say is that I have a really specific iced coffee recipe and we're about to film that. But uh, oh no, but that's for the that they can't put that in the vlog because that's for the Instagram. They have to go. 
We can't yeah. tell you here because we need the engagement on other Instagram. Instagram. Yeah. It's basically what we're getting. And comment on it came from Macy's channel. Okay. Yep. <laughs> um, no, Kenzie just in her pod, in her last podcast episode, I was listening to on the way here. She said that the trick to waking up earlier is having a crush. Mm. And that's just so true. I'm like, so much happier when I have a crush. Like, there's an extra pep in my step. I wake up like. Quicker, like normal when you wake up, you're like, oh, I want to go to sleep. Like, no, no, when you wake up, it's like you could have a text from your crush. No, you and like you want to be doing things for your crush. It's like yeah. doing things for your future self. No, do things for your crush. Having a crush is such an amazing like business opportunity for me as well because <laughs> I've never posted. You've never posted more Instagram stories well, in your life. If you ever want to know if I have a crush, it's either I don't post at all, or I I'm, don't like, post. I'm chill mode, or like it's extra because like they're really tuned in. Yeah, I'm the same way. There's no in between. I, I kind of have like crushes in hibernation right now. Like mm -hmm. they they were. At peak and now it's just kind of like they're sleeping and I, I like I don't have that same and, and you might wake them up again <laughs> no literally but me and Kenzie were saying like having a crush <laughs> no, being single is like we're happy and listen we're all about female empowerment and we're so but like we've both been single for so long I do feel like, like there's a threshold of happiness <laughs> threshold and like we're at the top and we now, max out and the only way to overflow it at this point would be to have like a crush that turns into something yeah. So yeah, and you I, can only be so happy, happy in life. No. And then like, it's like you, you <laughs> have to be single. You're so happy and it's amazing and it's a great way to live, right? No. But then like you fall in love, love and you have a crush, like, and there's like another threshold, threshold of happiness. No, literally, because I feel you know? like I'm doing everything I can. And it's like you have to be so happy on your own first. I'm like, I am. I have been happy on my own. <laughs> The other thing yeah. was, um, I said it's like right now I feel pretty, but I'm not tan, mm -hmm. so it's like there's only so pretty I can feel. Totally. Like there's a threshold. If I was like self tanned right now, I'd be like unstoppable. Kind of the same thing as being like if I had a crush, I'd be unstoppable. That's such a good comparison. Thank you so much. That's really there's good. a threshold for everything in life. Your eyes are so blue today. Thank you. I've been taking the Dior um, Glow Palette. It's like technically a highlighter palette, but I just mix the pink, the bronzes, everything on my eyelids. Kind of really makes good. them pop. All right, we're Wait. off to be business women. Do I still have wrinkles? Matching. I went to Dermani yesterday. It takes two weeks for Botox. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not instant. So here's the thing. I've been having really bad skin problems. House Labs by Lady Gaga covered it up. But um, I went to Dermani yesterday. I was going to get a facial, but basically I was like, uh, like it's still really active breakouts. So I got Botox. Kind of like a dis impulsive decision. But apparently it doesn't kick in yet. I really just got it like right there. Guys, go to Dermani. Dermani, they were so chill. Like Carly, go to her. She's the best. Yeah, and mention either one of our names for money off. Probably mine. Or mine. <laughs> it just depends on your vibe. Just really depends who you like. Yeah, yeah. Choose your fighter. Support single woman. Support <laughs> single woman, please. Wait, guys, we were just saying you like with this new Botox, I might not be single for long. No, it might be game over. I'm gonna be because I'm about to go to New York. I'm gonna be like walking the streets and like someone's gonna be like, yes, like your forehead. I've never seen anything like it. And I'm gonna be like, let's go to the courthouse. It was love at first forehead. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Literally. Look at what Mackenzie Child sent me last night. Please These say. cute oh. little yeah, that's adorable. I know. I'm not gonna keep like keep them there, here. There but are sales know. coming up. That's what this is for. Oh. So yeah. it'll this will be up later. But tell. Cute. All right, guys. You know what time it is? It's my one hour to lay out every afternoon, right around 3 p.m. to hope to get a tan. In which case, I don't even get a sunburn. Literally nothing. Any color you think you see right now, it's from fake tan. But like, how do I not have a burn even? I look tanner in this shot than I do in real life. That's a very important thing to point out. Also, why do I have a bruise? I have a mosquito bite right in the middle of a bruise. I don't know. I got peaches, Thomas peaches. This is very exciting. I'm really looking forward to this. I love a good peach. This is what I have for my pool stack today, my Kindle, my phone, my new water bottle. The UV is only six, but honestly, it's fine. We're just getting into routine. I started reading this book last night, Pretty Girls. I can't remember who recommended this online. I feel like it was probably Brooke. It's crazy so far. I have no idea how it's coming together, but it's good. It is actually Friday. 
Friday night at 7 p.m. to be exact, and I'm getting ready. I read so much today of the book. I forget the name, like Pretty Girls or Perfect Girls or something like that. So good. It's very, very dark. I started it, I think, yesterday, maybe the day before. And it's a little graphic, so trigger warning. Like, it, it is a little disturbing, but I cannot wait. I think I have, like, probably 20% left, and I'll finish it tonight. Tonight is Macy's last night in Dallas until she gets back August, I think, 30th. So we're going to go have a little night on the town. We're going to, like, a restaurant and getting a drink. Like, we're really not doing much. I'm having a hard time deciding what I want to wear. I was thinking maybe just this Hill House skirt and this tank top. I've been wearing this exact... Is this the Cezanne or Zara? I have two white tank tops that I wear pretty much every single day. I actually have four of them at two different styles. The key to a good white tank that I've realized for the summer with my accessories is it has to have a higher neckline. So this is my outfit. I don't know how I feel about it because I wore a similar one pretty much exactly. I got this skirt from Hill House and I got it in navy. I love it in navy. Something about the stripe is like weirdly throwing me off. I just, I don't know why. I just haven't even like gotten myself to wear it yet. But I think it's really cute. I love the cut of it too. Um, update on my sunburn. It happened today. Bravo. Follow your dreams, guys. Just means we're heading in the right direction. I, that's pretty bad. That's not good. My legs are worse, so whatever. My new cute little long chomp bag. I have my little beads. It seems this is my Friday night summer fit. I feel weird wearing these shoes to HG Supply and potentially truck yard, but... I didn't like my ballet flats, so I don't know. Good morning, it's Saturday. Today, this weekend's really a family weekend. My grandma's birthday was this week, so we have our birthday thing tomorrow. And then my cousins and Maddie and her boyfriend are coming over for the pool. And we're like grilling and stuff today. My dad's coming over this morning. I'm here to tell you guys, I finished that book, Pretty Girls. It was so good. Very disturbing, okay? Very disturbing. If that's not your vibe, it's descriptive, okay? It is, it's dark, but it was so good. Like we went to dinner at HG, then we were gonna get a drink after, I, and we just like didn't wanna go out. And all I wanted to do was get back home to my book and finish it because it was so, so, so good. I cannot recommend enough, like love. I'm gonna read more Karen Slaughter. I went from reading like barely, I think I've only read like 20 books this year and normally I read like, at least by this point I'd read like 50. I've been in like just a bad book rut. I also was needle pointing a lot and so you know, things are switching. Needle pointing, colder weathers, reading, summer, you know? And I've been laying out. Also, I don't know if I told you guys, I did finally get a summer, oh yeah, I did tell you guys that. It's been real, I need to go do my morning reading and I need to pick out my new book and I need to order Chick-fil-A for breakfast because that's just what I need. I just kind of straightened up this little shoe area. So I have my kitten heels up here. This is what I mean by I am a Sam Edelman girl, okay? Let me just explain this to you. Sam Edelman, the only reason that I bought these is because the red Sam Edelmans were sold out. I actually do love these, by the way. I'll see if I can link them, they're $40. I have so many of my friends in real life who bought them. I clearly love a kitten heel. Sam, all of these are Sam Edelman, okay? Then let's move down here. Um, all those sandals, three pairs of sand or two pairs of sandals are from Sam Edelman, and then, yeah, those are Sam Edelman, those are Chanel, there's the ones underneath from the real, real, not like, I didn't pay Chanel prices, Sam Edelman, Sam Edelman, free people, Sam Edelman, yeah, and then, there we go, over here, we have more, Sam Edelman, and I think that's it, I do think that's it, this is your sign to clean up your closet. Set a timer for 10 minutes. Look at the progress that I just made. Everything's looking so much better. I hate that I have a pair of boots up there. It's really actually bothering me. I really also want to get rid of the hats up there. It just does not look good. They need to go. So I'll be doing that soon, but look at how nice it looks. I still need to hang this stuff up. I'm just out of hangers. Looks amazing. This is self-care, comment below your Chick-fil-A order. This is what I got today. 
So good. I even got lemonade. Yeah, it's 9 a.m. I was craving it. Okay, time to get some grilling cookbooks. All right, I know I have quite a few. There's this one. It looks pretty good. Okay, this one. The, oh, okay, recipe journal. Wow. Do the two have decided on? Okay, here is my really fabulous outfit. I look like my mom. I put a tank top on. I was just wearing a swimsuit because I have to run up to get fits up from the vet and go to Sprouts. But this is the fit. These overalls are my favorite. They're free people. They're so cute. My swimsuit is Frankie's. I wore it. I posted it from in Cabo. You guys will see later. Just this white tank top. And then this Nantucket baseball cap. These are my favorite caps. Like, they're so good. I need so many more. I wish I would have picked up like five more colors when I was there because there's just something about them. I don't know. It's my favorite. So anyways, off to Sprouts. And then my stepbrother's coming over soon. We're going to start grilling and cooking. My cousins and my friends are coming after. I made a huge list of everything. We're going to grill. A lot of it's like peach centric. Oh, I need to leave the chicken out. Butcher box always to thaw. I was supposed to do that two hours ago. Great. Giving polar bear. Hi, you're like a polar bear. He's uninterested. Oh. As you guys know, this is my Eat, Pray, Love summer because I do keep saying that. Haven't seen the movie since 2008, you know? Anyways, today's episode, we have Sophia with an F on Sophia Franklin. Let me tell you a little bit about Sophia. <laughs> actually missed my last two runs on Sunday and yesterday because I was up all night with Coco. Long story, she's fine. I just haven't been able to sleep and therefore I haven't been able to run. But today on my plan, I'm still in week one of my 10K journey, but it's my last day of the plan. It is a 3.7 mile run. And so I'm wearing this like onesie set thing from Abercrombie. It's from Your Personal Best. I'll link it below. It is cheaper than the runsies that I wear from Anthro, not Anthro, from Free People. I really like it. The runsie I like better for running because it's specifically for running, it's a little bit lighter. This I like better for pretty much everything else, like just day to day. This is more of like a casual fit. You could like dress this up and make it cute. The other one is like specifically for running. Fitz really just wants all the attention in the world. Fitz is first brand deal, not his first brand deal, but he did a brand deal with Wagwell and it's like literally the funniest video I think I've ever posted. It's on Instagram, so if you guys are coming from this video, say hello from the vlog. He would love to see you there. Oh my god, as I'm doing this slowly, but I need you guys to see this. Well, you can't see he brought his paw completely, but anyways, good morning. Just did four miles, like 42 minutes. That was a pretty good time for me. It's not like amazing, but not the worst. Good morning, y'all. Hello, Fitz, he's back. It's noon now. I ran four miles this morning. I feel really good. My dad works from home with me, and then I just I just got off some calls. It's been a couple days since I vlogged. Yesterday, I had EMDR therapy. Three hour session, didn't want to vlog. It's pretty intense drama therapy. When I got home yesterday, I started a new book by the pool and I've already finished it. It's The Lies That Bind Us or something like that by Emily Giffen. There's a 9-11 tie-in. It follows this girl who falls in love with this man. Things are a little bit weird. Yeah, I'm not like ruining the, the like scope for you guys, but if you liked Emily Giffen's book, I forget the other one, the one that's loosely affiliated with the Kennedys, 
You will love this one. I just randomly found it and I'm so glad. I'm trying to get as much done as possible. I have a facial today, I'm getting my nails done. It's really like a maintenance day. We're leaving for LA on Thursday, so I also need to get all that stuff done, but just a working gal, what can I say? I'm at Keller's again, burger, fries, milkshake, root beer. So good. Good morning, y'all. It's Wednesday. I was gonna go on a run this morning, but I got microneedling done last night. My skin is not that red. It actually doesn't stay super red whenever I get microneedling done, but the first day, like last night, it was insane. Microneedling is my favorite facial to get. I was gonna get hydrofacial and microneedling. When you get both of those, it's like amazing. Go to Germani in Preston Hollow. The best of the best makes your skin look so good best prices you can get on this membership and it makes everything else cheaper it's amazing like all, so many of my friends are like also on the membership now anyways my skin will end up looking a lot better i can't wear makeup for 24 hours i have something today in my hometown this afternoon so i do need to like get up and it's like i need to dress a little bit nicer so so i'm just drinking some water i can't run today you can't exercise for like 24 to 48 hours and I've ignored that and I've run before but then my face was so much more red after and since I have something today I'm like it's just not worth it so I'm gonna take the dogs on a nice walk and then come back and make a smoothie I started a new book last night another Kristen Slaughter book I forget the name of it I'll have it on the screen it's good so far again disturbing I feel like all of her books are disturbing I don't know I haven't read her big series that's popular guys I don't know if this is like inappropriate but like there's like some definite movement happening. Like that line, that's definitely trying to do a tan and not a burn. That's huge for me. Okay, I was like halfway over in my eyes. Once it's September, it's summer's over, even though September is so hot here. Um, I will be getting naturally tan. Like I just have to really commit. Hi. 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 I love you. I love you. You're the most perfect little man ever. I love you. Do you want to go on a walk? <gasps> Do you want to go on a walk? Come on, bud. Up we go. Up we go. Okay. Let's get up. Oh, okay. He's so ready to go. Fitz, keep going, bud. Look at our star girl and the stroller. For anyone who's gonna make fun of me, her back legs are paralyzed, okay? I have a dog who needs help, but she's also on cray rest right now, so she just needs to see some things, you know? I'm freezing in my house right now. I gave myself a little bit of a blowout, but I'm not gonna brush my hair right now, so that's why I have my hair pinned back. I just did my morning reading, went on a nice walk, and I'm about to clean my makeup brushes, okay? Oh, I also planned all my outfits and stuff for LA. I leave tomorrow, but tomorrow's a busy day, and then today is a busy day, so. Guys, I feel like I haven't talked much about the recipe binder, which is really, really something. This is my recipe binder for my home brand, a friend of mine, and it's amazing. There's a pocket, there's different dividers, so you can decide how many pages you want in each section. These are such amazing gifts, and they're just so good to have and pass down. They're so cute in your kitchen. If you want a smaller version, oh! If you want a smaller version, we have the recipe journal which is the best thing ever. I love these. And then as always, we have our dinner cards and our night cards, nightcap cards, which are conversation cards. If you guys want to shop small, support a small business, my small business, shopfriendofmine.com. I love this stuff. I'm so excited. I think I just found some new people that I'm going to be working with for some upcoming products, but I'm really excited. Anyways, I'm gonna put on cancel and we're gonna clean the makeup brushes. I'm so long and I'm like, oh yeah. Tell me why that you've seen all the colors. Literally, 
as soon as I turned the camera on, the lighting got crazy. Hi y'all, happy Thursday. I got back from my run, it's like 11, no it's 10.30. I went on a three mile run this morning with Tabby and then I've been packing for LA and posted my new podcast episode which just went live with Sophia Franklin. It's an amazing episode. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel. And then I've just been getting a bunch of work done. I need to get ready because in a second, I have a flight later tonight, but we're filming a Home of Mine episode with Kate Davis. So Home of Mine, I feel like I don't think I've talked about it on the YouTube channel, on the YouTube channel. Like, oh, by the way, my skin's crazy right now because I got microneedling done. My walk seemed to be a workout yesterday, so it's made my skin just like a lot more red. We've got to figure that out and like cover that for home of mine tonight normally your skin is supposed to stay red honestly for a couple days but like mine normally is fine the next day but because i insisted on going on a walk in 100 degree weather it just got bad yesterday i spent the day at my hometown with like my clothes honestly like when i think about the most formative friendships people that i'm like the closest with ever a lot of them are like my youth group childhood friends that we did so i mean we grew up together and I love and adore them. Um, we weren't together for good circumstances by any means, but it just made me think a lot. I don't know. I was just like very nostalgic yesterday and just very emotional. And I love them. Like they're in all of my like OG early vlogs. We don't see each other really just because a lot of them don't live here. I would love if I saw them literally every day. Like I love them. I feel like a lot of like who I am is a largely due to those friendships. And I just... I love them. So anyways, it was a really tough day yesterday. So I'm back today. We're getting back in the swing of things and I'm heading off to LA tonight. Anyways, Home of Vine is a new series that we're doing on social for a friend of mine, which is my home brand, as you guys know. Also, side note, I'm really all over the place. Thank you so much to everyone who has been placing orders. Like, I just cannot believe the support that we have on the brand and it is truly my dream, like I say this all the time, it's truly my dream brand and I'm just so grateful. Like every single time someone orders something, I'm just like so, 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 so grateful. And we have days where there's like hundreds of orders coming in too. It's just like the craziest thing ever because it's not even like launch days. Like obviously on a launch day, like there's a larger influx, but like just over time, we've only dropped like five products total. Like, we haven't dropped like a ton of different products. So I don't know, just the fact that you guys are so supportive, it's just like meant the absolute world to me. We have a lot in the works. Back to what I was saying, guys. Home of Mine is our social series where we do little home tours with friends of mine. So today we're filming with Kate Davis and then she also answers some nightcap questions and some dinner card questions. And it's just a really cute, fun, like social series. So if y'all have people you want me to have on, leave them in the comments below. So these juice cups, like I don't know why, I held off so long on getting them from Anthropology. They are the best ever. Like for my birthday, which is coming up so soon, guys. My birthday is August 1st. As I'm recording this, it's July 18th. I'm almost 27 years old. That is crazy. Like 27 feels old. Like 27 feels like you are really an adult. And for so long, I just feel like I've been like a kid in an adult body almost like it was a video game. Like it just like, hasn't felt real to me, even with like owning a home. Like, I don't know, I just still feel like a child. So the fact that I'm turning 27, which is obviously still so young, but like there's something about 27 that feels like crazy. I do want to record a solo podcast episode. What do you guys want me to talk about? Obviously this has been the worst year of my life. So like, I don't know, I don't know. Like I would like to do one 27th birthday themes. Like you're kind of hitting our late 20s. Um, yeah, I don't know. I definitely want to do like a solo catch up episode, but I don't even know what to talk about because it's kind of hard because I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer. I've learned a lot that's like good and beautiful and whatever, but like, I don't know. I just don't know and I don't want it to be a negative episode. So I just have been kind of writing down a couple different notes over time, but I still don't know. So like, what do you guys want? In the solo episode, let me know down below. I started my YouTube channel when I was 15. I was turning 16 years old. So insane. Like all my friends that I was with yesterday, I was thinking about it. I went back, I never ever do this. I went back and I was like watching old vlogs of like me and John, me and Emily. Like it was just, it like made me really emotional because it's just crazy. I'm also really lucky to still have those friends. Like they're friends that like, I don't even need to speak to you for five years and it would be the exact same, not that I ever wanted to not speak to them for five years. 
Um, they're just really, really rare bonds that I have with these people from very like pivotal ages. I was going through like a really hard time too growing up when we all got really close. And yeah, I'm just like very grateful to have those kinds of bonds and friendships and just the friends that I have in general because I do know a lot of it is very rare. And especially when I moved away and I was in LA and I was with different people, I didn't realize how amazing of friends I had until you leave because it's like a different kind of bond. Um, and I love them and I'm very, very grateful. Anyways, I'm gonna chug my coffee and get ready for the day because I need to film an intro for a podcast for next week. Once we do a full episode on books because I love reading, okay? This episode is the book episode of all book episodes because it is a book master list episode. So every genre, and by every genre I mean the ones that we like, we are giving our top five favorite books, also like some popular opinions, some, you know, it gets good. I'm back home. We have samples for new products. I'm so excited. <sighs> I know I'm gonna love them. I've already seen all the photos and videos. I just need to see it in person. <laughs> and another one. All right, y'all, wanted to show you my outfit that I wore today because I need to shower and basically head to the airport. Jeans are Abercrombie. They're some of my favorite jeans ever. This belt is Revolve. It's so insane because it's only $40. Belts like this, if you don't know, get really expensive. I love a good belt. I don't like the prices. This is the best one. I have it in at least four colors. I have black, blue, and brown. Anyways, Abercrombie, Abercrombie top, one of my favorite tops. This is like a staple wardrobe fit. And then these shoes are Sam Edelman. I love them so much. I'm waiting for the Kava Kids meal. I need to take my makeup off, get in sweats. Head off to the airport. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Love you so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.